Hello Lomzi team, welcome back to my channel Lomzi Souls. My name is Uloma Eziki. Today I will be sharing with you how to make um, a ball dress for a three-year-old child. And I will show you tips on how to make it full without using a hard net. Yeah, you don't need to use a hard net with the way I'm going to be teaching you how to make this. So make sure you watch till the end. For today's tutorial, let's go sewing. So for the measurements we are going to be using for this is a three-year-old child. So the measurement we'll be needing is the bust measurement. The bust we're using is 23 inches. The waist, she has a slimmer waist, which is 21 inches. And um, the shoulder measurement she we are using is um, 10 inches. Then the um, half length, the half length that's from the shoulder to her waist is 10 inches. Her whole length we're going to be using is 5.5 inches. And the um, dress length we are using is 28 inches. So that's what we'll be using for this three-year-old child. Then um, my fabric, I've already interfaced it with this soft lining. Um, this type, as you can see how light it is. Yes. And in Nigeria, we call it um, paper gum stay. So that's the one I'm using. So I have fused it onto this lining fabric. Yeah, so the lining I'm using is a cotton lining. That's what I'm using. So I'm going to be cutting first on the lining and then I go over to the main fabric itself. So what I have here, I have I will fold this, I folded it in two. I'm going to be folding it again, making it into four because we're going to be dividing the body into four places. So once I have it like this, I can now start with my measurement. So the first thing I have to do is to um, square out where I'm going to be starting from. So I'll square out like this. Yes, so from this, I'll take down my body measurement. So now the first thing we would do is the length of the from shoulder to the waist which is her half length is 10 inches i am going to be marking that here 10 inches i'm not going to be adding any sewing allowance to this now until when i'm done then i'll add my sewing allowance it makes it easier for me so that is it like that. Now, this place that is on fold is going to be our center front. And this side that is open is going to be the back, the back side, which is the center back. So we are going to be measuring this way. So the next thing I have to get is the shoulder width. The shoulder width, remember I told you the shoulder width is 10 inches. And I'm going to be dividing that by two, which will give me five inches. I will drop that here, five inches. And then another thing I have to get is the armhole depth. Armhole depth is 5.5 .5 inches. I'm going to be marking that here. Remember, it's a sleeveless, it's a sleeveless dress. So 5.5 .5 is what I'm using and I'm going to be marking it there like that. So once I have it like this, this is the waist. This is the armhole depth. Yeah. So once I have it, I have to take down this measurement from center front to shoulder width. I'm going to be bringing it down here. I told you it's 5 inches, so I'm going to be marking 5 inches here also. And I'm going to be connecting these two lines. Yeah, so the next thing I will get is the body measurement, the chest, round her chest measurement. Her chest is 23 inches, remember? Yeah, so 23 inches divided by 4 would give us... 5.75 and i'm going to be adding 
0 0.25 to that which will make it six inches the 0 0.25 is going to be the um easing allowance you know because this is into four so we have to times this into four if you times this into four it will give you one inch easing allowance so that's what we have added to the total body measurement so that we have six inches and i'm going to be marking that here i will drop it down yeah the model wants it a bit fitted so like i told you the waist measurement is 21 inches and i'm going to be marking that here so i am going to be taking in 0 0.25 in on the waistline because she doesn't want a belt with it she just wants it to be smart on her so i'm going to be taking in this like so yeah so the next thing we'll do is the shoulder width the shoulder sloping for us to do that the neck we are using is two and a half inches i mark that here the neck width we are using the neck depth for the front is three inches and the neck depth for the back is one inch remember this is the back this is the front yeah so we are going to be connecting this like this and we are going to be connecting that like that so this is for the front and this is for this is for the front and this is for the back remember yeah so now what we have to drop is the shoulder sloping our shoulders are not straight so you have to slope it down a bit and what we are going to be sloping down is half inch so i'm going to be marking that here and i will connect that to the neck width there so this is our shoulder measurement. So the next thing we will do is the armhole. Round the armhole, we need to get that. So for us to get that, the measurement from here to there divided by two. And the measurement to there is five inches. We divide that by two. What we we'll have is 2.5. I will mark that here. So the next thing we have to do is we have to connect this line to this and to this for the back and for the front we have to come in 0 0.25 for the front and that's here like that. So for the front we'll come in from here, here and we come to this place. So I'm going to be connecting these lines like that. Yeah, this is for the back and i'm going to be connecting this this is for the front you see that yeah so there is something i need you to understand for children you have to drop down half inch on the front for the dress to sit properly on the baby's body so you drop it here and you're going to be connecting it to this line like that while the back remains flat so i'm going to be connecting it once i'm done so that's it like that so i'm going to be cutting this out now when i'm cutting it i'm going to now add all my allowances now let me quickly just add the zipper allowance i like to use half inch for my zipper so i will connect this line So this is for the zipper allowance. I am going to be, the mother asks that I add one inch allowance so that when the girl is growing, oh, she can always open it up. But for me, I usually leave half inch sewing allowance, but I'm going to be adding one inch sewing allowance to the side. Like that. And for this, I'm going to be adding half inch all the way through so half inch half inch this is for the back once i'm done connecting the back i will now cut out the sewing allowance for the front so i'm going to be cutting this out now this neck i have done is the neck i am going to be using i'm not going to be adding any 
sewing allowance to that so i will be using that like so so i'll have to cut this out like that the back so we cut the shoulder and the back neck you have to notice something here we are cutting both the front and the back neck at the same time and also for the armhole, we cut both the front and the back at the same time. Now, once I am done, the next thing I'll do is to take this out and I connect this line to this line. Because the back is not lowered as the front. So once I connect it like that, I cut this off. So that when I'll be joining it, this would be equal to that place, as you can see, but the front will still remain like that. So the next thing I would do is to come to the front, because my lines are still here, I would easily see what I am cutting for the front. So I'm going to be cutting a neck, and I'm also going to be cutting the armhole for the front. So remember, I have half inch allowance so i am going to be cutting that like that so this is b for the front and that's it like that so the next thing i will do is to cut this out from the main fabric main fabric the amount of um, fabric we need from this cotton is um two yards any fabric you have that is by 45 what you need to use as the main fabric is two years that's what we are going to be using so the next thing i would do is to cut this out from my main fabric i'm going to be cutting this out so let me quickly cut this out and come back to you so i have it all cut out the main fabric i didn't put any interfacing on it I just let it be like that I just needed some texture that's why i had to add um that paper gum to the to the lining so i will walk you through the border first of all so that will be it will be easier for you to understand when we are going to the net fabric so what we have done here is i have cut this into um the, what I'm using, the net I'm using is 7 yards and that 7 yards is the width of where I'm going to be adding my, my border to. So that width, which is 7 yards, is what I have cut out the, here. This, If I join all these things together, what I will get is 7 yards in length. Yes, but here we have 6 inches like that. 6 inches is what we have but i am going to be folding this into two once i fold it into two i will have um three inches and i sew out my half inch sewing allowance i will have two and a half inches so with this you will be able to understand when i'm explaining how my net would be so i would want the net to be more than the this part so i'm going to be making it three inches less than what the net would be so 18 inches minus 3 will have 15 inches right good so 15 plus 7 would be 22 inches so this is 22 inches still unfold like that would get the 22 inches and so that's what i have here 22 inches like that so I am going to be taking this all around like so. So if you feel there is something I have made a mistake, I have not said, 
remember we're in this together yeah so for the lining part that's um the inner um for the bottom parts anyway um a lot of people use um brighter satin or whatever but i find that too heavy for a child so what i usually do is i use my lining fabric the cotton fabric that's what i usually do because once you have your two net on it it will not show whatever fabric you've used but then what you're now you have to battle with now is the weight so because i'm going to be using this cotton lining the same lining we used everybody knows as the lining that's the one i will use and the um the net will be on it then i will also use this for the lining proper so what i would do for the lower part i fold my fabric in two like so and i'm going to be cutting out um half circle for both the lining and the one the net is going to be on top of it so what i mean by half circle is when i fold in two like that and i have my folded edge like this and i cut out my radius and the length of my skirt that's what i mean by circle but when i double it like so and cut out my radius and the length that's when it will be a full flare so i'm going to be cutting it like this so the first thing i have to do is to know the the length of radius i'm using radius means the place where my lower part is entering the bodies yes so and again the length of the skirt the lower part so the radius i'm going to be working on is um um 22 inches remember the waist we had so uh it's going to be 22 inches so i'll divide 22 inches by 3.14 i'm dividing it by 3.14 because it is a half flay remember is a half lay we are using for this so i am dividing the radius to be 3.14 22 inches divided by 3.14 and that will give me seven inches so i'll write that here seven inches and the length of the skirt the lower part we are using is 18 inches remember the dress length is 20 28 inches by the time we remove the half length of 10 inches it will be remaining 18 inches yes so that 18 inches is not what i'm going to be cutting out from this fabric what i'm going to be cutting out is going to less that by three inches be leave a comment in the comment section and i will be so glad and i am always on my comment section to see what you guys are writing so you go ahead and drop anything you feel like i have omitted in the comment section so this is the length of the lower part the next thing we have to mark is the seven inches for the radius so that's what we have here i'm going to be marking it if you want to join my facebook group sewing tutorial by lumsy you can go ahead and join me on my facebook group i'll be dropping the link in the description section so you go ahead and join my facebook group so i want you to see what i have measured out what this radius came to so when we when you measure this this is 11 inches which has given us our 22 inches and i'm going to be cutting this out like that If you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do so below because i upload detailed sewing tutorials and diy and you like and comment if you like this video that i'm making so now we are going to be cutting another lining that will be the one that will go to the lining lining of the bodies remember let me show you so this one is going to come to this with the net on it i would attach it to this 
the next one we're going to be cutting is going to the lining part i hope you get what i mean so let me cut that one out too the same method we have used for this that's what we're going to be using for the lining part but th this time around we're going to be reducing that again by two inches so i will do that now Now, this is the two. This one, let me turn it. This one is the lining. This one is the, for the main fabric. So I am going to be working on the main fabric now. So what we are going to be doing is, from the waist, we are going to be marking one inch away. What I am going to be showing you is how to make this to be very full without using a hard net you don't need to use a hard net all you need is your um, soft net so i'm going to mark this all around like that turn it this way So the next thing we have to do is to determine the length of the net we are going to be cutting for this. Yeah, so once we have it like this, we have to measure for the length of the net we need. Now remember I have reduced 3 inches from this, right? Good. So the length of the net we are using is 8 inches, 18 inches rather. 18 inches and I have minus 3 inches for this one. But for the net, it is 18 inches. Good. And we have 3 inches. Remember how many inches we measured on the border that I showed you earlier on? So, and that is 2 and a half inches. And we are going to be taking that off from here. So, what that would be is 15 and a half inches. So, the length of the net will be 15 and a half inches. And I'm going to be adding half inch to the sewing allowance to that. That will give me 16 inches. So we are going to be bearing that in mind. The layer we are going to be having here is going to be 16 inches. Yes. So this next one, the layer we are going to be having here is going to be 16 inches minus 1.5. So this one is going to be 16 minus 1.5. Right? That will give us 14 point five inches that's what we are going to be having for the next one that is going to be here so we have two layers of net we are making one the first one that is coming here is going to be 16 inches the one that is going to be here is going to be 14 and a half inches so now that we know this let's go to our net so this is our net the first layer we have is 16 inches right so we're going to be measuring this out from this 16 inches now if you cannot handle your net you can cut them into um like a, you can cut them in three years and fold them if you if you find it very hard to to handle and you know place it like this but for me seven years is okay for me to fold and um you know walk around if it's 15 inches then i can cut it up into two and cut it out from there but this i am okay with this so i'm going to be cutting this from here 16 inches is what we are looking for and that's what i have here 16 inches i am going to be cutting this out this is going to be for the upper part So now this will be the one that would have the border. So what I would do is for me not to make any mistake, I'll just take my border part and put it inside it. 
this is my border I just put it inside it and set it aside so I set this aside and this is the one that is going to be under that will give me the fullness I want how many inches did we talk about 14 and a half inches and that's what I'm going to be making this to be now you have to pay attention here for the first one I had seven yards for this night this one around I'm going to be doubling whatever I have from the waist so that I have my ball dress full but if you want to get another fuller, you know, when you make things exaggerated, they come out and, you know, however you want. But this person wants to be able to be wearing this often to church and all that. So that's why I'm going to be maintaining this. With this, you will still see that it will stand out. So I'm going to be sh showing you the video once I'm all done, how it turned out to be. But if you want it exaggerated more, you can go ahead and add this part. But for me, I am going to be saving this part for another video or another sewing tutorial. So I am going to be using two times the, what I have on the waistline. So I'm going to be cutting this out here like that. So remember, if you want this to be further, if you want to increase the volume, what you would do is, on this, you mark another line. On this, you mark another, maybe one inch away, and you add. But you can see, with this, if you add this to this place, this is already looking very small. It's not as full as that one anymore. If you want to come to the next one, it that means this has to be three times that. Do you get it? So that's why I don't like adding the next one. When I add this one to this place, you will find out that it will be come out very, very full. For this border, what you're going to be doing when you get to your machine is to join all this together to make a long strip. You know, so when you're all done with that, the next thing you would do is to attach this like so on this. Once you attach it, the first one, you will now turn it over like that and you fold it like so and you have it like that half inch you use your half inch sewing allowance to sew it and it will be like this you see how it is good so that's how what i'm going to be doing on my machine now and when i'm done doing that before i will now gather it so let me go over to my machine and stitch this up so you can see how full this is you see how it is now what you do is you go ahead and iron this out when you're ironing it make sure you don't iron the net just iron this part of the the borders you can see how full this is i haven't finished it see how neat it is can see so what you have to bear in mind is this is the remaining that one that I didn't use so you have to use nets that are bouncy like this you see how this is bouncy so that's the type of net you use you see it's almost um, impossible for you to see the holes so how that's how you know the right net to buy now for the sleeveless dress how to make it if you want to make sure you have this type of neat sewing i have a tutorial on how to um make sew your sleeveless dress list neatly so i i will drop that in the description section below so you know how to neatly um, sew your sleeveless dresses now i'll have to show you again this is the second layer this is the first one so what you have to do is when you're gathering your lower part you make sure you gather it so tightly and it's full like that but this one will not be that full remember we just used seven yards like that in a row but we doubled the seven yards to get this so that's how it's full like that you make sure you gather it so tightly so that it gives you the fullness and this will now be on top of it like that by the time you close it you can see you won't see where 
that place is so how that's how to do that so i am going to be showing you i'm going to be showing you the full video once i'm all done i have a video on how to attach um invisible zip i'll be dropping that in the description section so you go ahead and attach your invisible zip as you can see the two layers of the lining this and this and this so with this you will not see the lining so you go ahead overlock your hem overlock this one if you feel like also hemming it you can hem it but i just i will just go and overlock it with the same color of fabric so if you haven't subscribed to my channel you go ahead and do so and remember to join my facebook group so that you'll be able to share any picture of whatever video you want me to make and i'll be glad i'll make that for you so i will see you let's go and see the outcome on of this